Thanks. Thanks. I'm Amy Brown from the Ford Foundation. When I think about the work that, that we all do and that I've been doing for a long time now, there's, we're sort of trying to, always trying to do two things at once, right? The first is help individuals and communities to be successful within the current economic model. And the other is to change the system on top so that they don't have to do that, right? And when I hear the phrase economic democracy, it sort of, I, I love it. And it feels to me maybe a way to merge those two things. And I wondered if, if you agree with that and sort of talk a little more about how we can sort of bring those two pieces together and do them both at the same time. Sure, I mean, I'll take that really quickly. Um, that is what has attracted us to this, you know, conversation with BCDI, which, you know, came out of something that's called the Green Jobs Roundtable, you know, and all these green jobs are supposed to come and employ everybody, uh, which has happened. Mm -hmm. Um, but just not the way we thought it was going to happen. It's happened on a much smaller grassroots type of level. But um, the idea of economic democracy, I think, is twofold. One, it's an ideological conversation. It's, it's an ideological conversation, one, to, because it's happening within communities where even the notion of democracy, what does that really mean? Um, when our communities are perceived to have not, not a lot of political capital, uh, because we don't vote. So just the notion in and of itself of democracy, that's a conversation that we're having. Um, and then you throw the term economic democracy in, into that, and then you're, and then what you're doing is you're introducing the idea and the notion of reimagining our current economic paradigm. And really what it is, it's, it's an educational, it's an education, it's an educational approach and it's an a ideological shift that um, is taking place from, from the bottom up with those folks that you wouldn't normally think should be, you know, you know are, are not up here making policy, but the, but the participants in the current system. So either, you know, you're talking, we're talking about folks that are working poor, we're talking about folks that are um, currently reliant on, you know, uh, the public system to some extent and are not really counted as being a part of our e economy as it is. And so I, I do think uh, that forging a new path requires those that are currently not participating at all in our economic system in a real way in reimagining that and seeing themselves as not only, you know, <laughs> participants but actors and creators of of an economy, and that is a big order, and it has to do not with just one approach, but many approaches all at once. And so we do have to walk and chew gum at the same time. We have to think about yes, uh, engaging parents. We have to think about you know, opportunities to transform how we're educating our children, um, you know, and are we educating them to participate in our current economic system or are we, edu or are we empowering them to change it? And so I think, uh, I absolutely believe that these are the conversations that, that need to be had all, all over.